What's up? What it is? What's up? What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. I'm here. We back. Man, if you don't get your butt together on this bike, what's wrong with these people? What's going on, y'all? We we're coming down here with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't know what happened to New York. I don't even know what day New York comes on. I imagine that it comes on. I thought it came on Tuesday. We're on Thursday. I don't know. So I'm not sure what, what is going on. Okay. Um, so we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I actually just watched it because the link was not up last night. So I woke up early so that I can watch it after I did my... A little yoga and everything you know what I'm saying I finished my 30 days of yoga and I'm on this is the 31st day so I'm starting some another I'm not, it's not not another 30 days but I just started to um, yoga with Adrian I think I like I like Cassandra on YouTube um, her yoga I just like I like her voice I don't know if I like too much if I like Adrian's voice but you know it's whatever it's, what are you gonna do so people are out here walking they're enjoying themselves it's in morning time and they said they let the people go in Georgia. I don't know. Uh, shout out to y'all. Y'all be careful out there. Because, um, you know, just be careful. and wash your, Keep your hands washed. Keep your distancing and stuff like that. Because, um, I don't know. I don't know. And like somebody said the other day, it's like they give you a stimulus check and then they open the the they open the world so that you can spend that so you can spend that money as if you can't spend that money online but whatever whatever honey okay so we are talking about real housewives of new jerk um of uh beverly hills actually was actually pretty good it was a lot it was a lot um you know when a white woman feels attacked they go back and forth i love when white women be white women with each other and use the trigger words so that people can respond, but nobody responds because y'all both white women and they don't know who to say first. <laughs> so that's how it goes. If y'all haven't caught our, um, Nate and I, we did a video last night of um, uh, reading the comments from the Real Housewives of Atlanta video that we did for the reunion on Sunday. We read some comments last night. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's the latest upload. Um, yeah, and anything like that. Let me see. What else? What else? What else? The people are on, um, I'm, no, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that in this video. But yeah, so go watch The Real Housewives. We read the comments. It was really fun. We had a really good time. Go watch that and then be on the lookout for our next review of the reunion and, um, on Sunday. Okay. Start off where we left off at Denise's house. And they're all sitting around the table and Kyle is expressing herself saying how she thought it was weird for Dorit to have glam, right? To come there with glam. It's not normal. It's weird to get glam before coming to a place where you're not going to and then wear workout clothes, but then not actually work out. It's fake as hell. And that's what Kyle was trying to say. Um, Denise was like, girl, who is normal? And if you notice, all of the wives were arguing and going back and forth and having this discussion. The husbands were quiet. They did not, they did not interject. They did not try to fix. They just was like, honey, and they just let them talk. Um, Sutton was trying to talk. They were all talking over each other, talking at the same time. And Sutton was trying to talk and she raised her voice and Dorit's eyes got really big and was like, oh, what, is, what? what you know her eyes got real big like what is she saying why and she was like zip it just be quiet just be quiet and they were not being quiet and she was trying to talk and she was like i think what it was was that you told kyle i have a life as if it's kind of um a defense offensive it's offensive and uh, they showed a clip of Kyle saying, nobody's honest. This is a effing game show. Um, and you can't say that. And you can't say that people don't have lives because everybody out here has lives. And for you to say that I'm late to this event because I have a life as if you guys came on time because y'all don't have no lives. I have things to do and y'all don't. And she was implying that and she was trying to be rude. But of course, when you start doing this and shaking your head like you're confused all of a sudden then you don't know what you're talking about right um teddy goes after um kyle kyle walks away crying she's not happy 
Denise was like, she likes to be the center of attention. This seems to be the theme with Denise and Kyle, that Kyle likes to be the center of attention. Um, and she was like, well, you said everybody was some fake ass bitches. And then she was like, Teddy, you got to back off. This was this was when Kyle walked away with Mauricio. They had already walked. No, 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 no. They were inside of the little trailer where the bathroom is. And she was like, um, um, what did, what did, uh, what did, what did, what did, um, Kyle, Kyle was in the bathroom with Teddy and she was like, and tell Denise to shut up. She looked like a ragamuffin. She can't say anything. And, um, <laughs> Denise, uh, when they get back to the table, Teddy was like, you guys have to back off. Everybody was on her at one time. She was trying to talk to you guys. So Teddy is trying to explain for Kyle, trying to back Kyle up. And then Lisa was like, where well, these are just rules by Teddy. These are just rules. And she was like, no, these are rules for life. You don't, you can't just bombard people and then expect them. You have to allow them to process what you said and get off of them for a second and focus on something else. We can start talking about something else. And so Dorit was like, okay, Teddy, you don't have to act like you're just this little angel. And I was like, what, what is going on? I was like, these ladies are crazy. So Lisa Renna. She um was telling she was going back and forth and they were telling her how it was wrong to for her to say for her to make the comparison to for Kyle when Kyle says I defend all my friends when it's right I defend them blindly I think she said and then um, Lisa was like well that's not true that's not always true you can't say that that's not always true and she was like what are you talking about I have defended you I defended you with my sister they showed a clip Kyle did defend her um, and she was like looking crazy because yeah and every time Kyle was like what are you talking about Dorit because I defended you I lost one of my best friends for you defending you because I felt you were right that's a fact her and Lisa Vanderpump I don't know if they cool now but Lisa Vanderpump told Kyle to show her way out of her house of that that property that she has out there she told her show your way out honey um so mauricio agreed with kyle on the way he was like i did feel like they were kind of 100 percent that they were piling up on you lisa and amelia um they asked lisa did she what's the difference of, between amelia being in la and amelia being in new york and she says i think her issues are manageable here and you have an emotional support system and that's absolutely factually true you rather be home because you know that there's going to be people around who will hopefully support you Denise and Erica go get coffee and it was funny because Erica was ordering the coffee and the guy was like she was like I want the Cuban and the guy was like well what do you want do you want almond milk soy milk two percent da 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 she was like child and in her interview she was like I don't want no effing oat milk in my Cuban coffee. I want it like it's supposed to be made. Heavy cream, please. Thank you. This is why we love Erica because she's down to earth, okay? So Denise says to Erica that she went out with her daughters the other day and her daughters asked her about a threesome because remember at the dinner, they were talking about threesomes. And they showed the clip. And Denise asked her, the daughter didn't bring it up. I was like, what? You brought it up, bitch. So what did you hear? And I'm to me, I wrote, you haven't seen wild things? You haven't seen your mom on wild things, do you? And I, the only thing that I can think of is that Denise is trying to make up for their father being wild as hell, right? And then for her being wild as hell in her early years, right? So she's trying to make up for that and sheltering her children, not telling the truth. It's just all that stuff. It's just weird. And it's like, you are this big time, like sultry vixen, full lip, dark hair, you know, blue eye type of girl. And you were like fine as hell back in the day. And you was screwing everybody you ended up with charlie sheen and i think maybe she's overcompensating for that and i feel like that's what's going on but erica's not here for it at all and even her daughter was like mom we are not five years old bitch we know what a threesome is they they like 16 and 17 years old bitch if you don't know if you may not know bitch they probably already had a threesome <laughs> you'll be acting like your kids don't first of all this is not 1985. Number one. Number two, you can't act like you don't give you don't you hand when you hand your child one of these. When you hand your 12-year-old one of these, 
When you hand your 11 year old and your 13 year old one of these, you are giving them access to the world, access to every single thing they can wonder about and they could want to visualize, they can find it right here. So when you give your child that, don't act like they don't know what a threesome is and don't act like they don't know about sex and don't act like you can't talk to your children about sex and don't act like you can't tell them the truth. That shit is played out. This is not the 70s, the 80s or the 90s, okay? You need to tell your children the truth. If they want to ask about threesomes, they know what it is. I was like, Lisa, stop. I mean, Denise, stop acting like that. Anyways, um, that's why I said you at the wild, the lady, the wild things house. I thought we was at the wild things house. That's what Erica said. I'm like, bitch, me too. I thought y'all was at, what it, what, what is it? What's going on? So Kyle was upset and she said, um, to F off, right? That's what she said when she walked away. And then Erica was like, well, she has a lot of pressure on her. And then Denise was in her interview. She was like, girl, we all have pressures. I got a kid with special needs. I got, I got to work. I got, I film, um, is she on Bold and the Beautiful? I didn't even know Bold and the Beautiful still came on. Lisa, Lisa Richards, I mean, Denise Richards is on Bold and the Beautiful. I did not, I did not even know that. I did not know that. Um, and so she was like, girl, we all have pressure. We all have stuff to do. Um, we all have a lot going on. And she was like, you know, when I sent everybody a text thanking them for coming, Kyle was the only one that didn't respond. So Kyle got an issue with um, Denise. So Garcelle is having her birthday party for her sons are turning 12. And um, the nanny let Mike in. She didn't even know he was there. I was like, girl, why did you let him in? Who told you to let him in? And why is he? <laughs> you need to say something to me before you let my ex-husband in the house girl she was like well he'd be around all the time thanksgiving dinner and stuff like that it's a little hard to date because he's around all the time um because we get to see the kids together right i don't we we have the kids 50 50 but we get to see them together so we're always at you know thanksgiving dinner basketball games football games or what have you so that's what she was saying and he was there um She's talking about sex with her sons at 12 years old. And he was like, please don't do that on their birthday. And she and it's cute to see their to see um, you know, Garcelle with her kids and things like that. Um, and she's Garcelle mentions that her kids did not know that their father was having an affair. Another one, another thing. Here they go. Here it is, right here. They know their dad had an affair. They know they did. They know what he did. They know you sent the email. They know it all. Give them one of these. They know it all. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> all right and she says but you know social media i can't keep things from them they don't know the ugly side of divorce and she was like sometimes i'll be like you guys don't know what mommy goes through and honey i can completely relate however i cannot relate to the co-parenting thing i do not have a healthy type of co-parenting relationship with the my children's father just it's just useless and worthless at this point um, so they're eating donuts and it was funny because, um, the son, one of the son ate, one of the sons ate the donut. They had a donut, like a, um, tower, a donut tower. And one of the kids ate the donuts. And then when she came back from, you know, fussing with the kid in a joke, joking way, she comes back and her ex-husband is eating the donut. And she was like, girl, why are y'all eating donuts? It's supposed to be a tower. Y'all eating donuts off the top. He was like, it's okay. It's okay. It was funny. Um, so they went to Erica's clubhouse and they were talking about did the kids ask about teddy do the kids ask about teddy's um pregnancy i think dorit said her kid asked about it and then denise said she just told her kids that it was a miracle when they started asking about pregnancy girl why are you lying to your kids even even um what's her name was like okay girl, stop lying to your kids june cleaver and that's erica that's the reason why i like Claire, erica stop lying to your kids it's, it is the worst thing to for a child to ask a parent something and then the and then what happens is the parent lies to them so what you do and you and you don't mean to do it but when you lie to your kids and they find out the truth then the trust that they have in you to tell them the truth is compromised just remember that stop lying to your kids stop lying you can you can tell your kids the truth and you can make it to where it's age appropriate you don't have to tell them what happens in a threesome you could say a man two p three people are having sex together that's what you have that's what you say okay um 
You know, even yesterday when all this stuff was going on with Boosie and my, my son was like, what's happening? What's going on? I was like, I told him what happened. I said, this man did this in order to make sure that his son isn't gay. And he was on his way out the door to walk the dog. And he was like, did he really do that? <laughs> I was like, yes, he really do that. He was like, does he think that that's going to work? And I was like, I don't know. What is that going to do? I said, I don't know, child. I don't know. And it's like, he's 12. My son is 12, about to be 13 in July. So, yes, I'm. it's age appropriate. Yes, I'm talking to him about things like that. Stop lying to your kids because the only thing you're going to do when they get older and start realizing, God damn, why didn't she tell me the truth? Why didn't she tell me the truth about my father? Now they're looking at you sideways. Like, I can't really, uh -uh, I can't really trust you. When I grow up as an adult, I don't know if I'm going to be able to trust you because you were dishonest. You were dishonest in fear of trying to protect me. Mm -mm. The truth is your armor. Don't forget it. Sutton, her shoes were really cute. I don't know what kind of shoes. I'm sure they were Dolce, but um, they were very cute. Um, Teddy, they give her water. Lisa and Lois show up. Lois is Lisa's 91-year-old mother. Um, she's just sitting there looking. Um... Kyle and Lisa go off to the side. Lisa Renna says, you know, I'm sorry. I used that. I used your sister as a wrong example. I should not have injected family. Like you're telling somebody you don't always defend me. And they're like, what are you talking about? I always defend you. No, not when it's against your sister. Girl, are you serious? <laughs> and then, but not even that. Not even that, they showed the clip of when Kyle was defending Lisa against her sister. They keep showing it, and Lisa, and she was like, you can't say that you always do. Girl, shut up. You, you stuck on always. That's what you stuck on. Not the fact that I did actually defend your ass. Though, in the time that you're talking about, I actually did. Um, so she said that's a wrong example. And then even Kyle brought up the Dorit and LVP situation. She was like... Yeah, you know, like, I didn't even think about that because Kyle did defend Dorit against, with Lisa Vanderpump and lost that friendship because of it. So Dorit, all of this, girl, hush. And I, and I like Dorit. And you know, you know, you, you know, Dorit gives us fashion. She gives us, every time she goes somewhere, she gives us a whole new look, a different look. It, it's reminiscent of how black women step out. We step out. It's a whole new look every time. Different wig, different ponytail, different hair, different everything. We look completely different every every single time. Not me so much. I might have a different rap, but you know, I'm, I'm a practical Virgo type of diva, so don't worry about me. But what you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so Dorit is um, going to open a Buca de Pepo only because she knows the owner. Other than that, she wouldn't have never opened a Buca de Pepo. Nobody's really going to want to do business with you because even he said i'm not giving you an unlimited budget so you can make me go bankrupt <laughs> she was looking like oh. <laughs> okay so they were saying let's have a family dinner at buca de pepo buca de pepo is really really good there's one down around in the arden area it is really good if you've never had is one in pasadena that's really good too i mean they i mean it's a chain restaurant anyway but it's good actually so um, so Lisa tells Kyle, yes, I'm always there. No, Lisa tells Kyle, yes, you're always there when it matters. You, you, you are, I can't even front. So, um, Kyle mentioned something about going to Santa Barbara overnight. Santa Barbara is beautiful, you know, houses on the beach, overcast like this. And then when it's sunny, it's just beautiful. California is just probably, I mean, I'm biased, but probably one of the most beautiful states in the country um arizona is really nice they have really nice sunsets there um i'm probably the middle of the country i haven't spanned too much in the middle of the country i've been to a lot of different states but i haven't spanned too much in the middle of the country um but i imagine the flatlands are beautiful um just as beautiful but like california is just really dope because you can go from the from the desert to the sea to all of the <laughs> You could get it all from the mountains to the ocean, and you can be there from, from in 90 minutes. I can go from the mountains to the ocean, baby, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Shout out to California. Sudden, she when she's walking up to Lisa's daughter's event, she was talking. She says, "Um, I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, she whispers to Dorit. 
oh my god I'm about to freak out I'm about to flip out and she was like what girl and she was like I am about to flip out never mind you'll see you'll see and then she was like what are you talking about so apparently Sutton invested in a in an app that was um, launched by a makeup artist named Joey Maloof who is also Lisa Renna's makeup artist. So you know Lisa Renna and Sutton are friends. So that guy is their mutual friend. Sutton went into business with him. It didn't they had bad business and she um she doesn't want to be around him, understandably. So she so when um they're sitting around talking, so that she figures out that he's not there, right? So she figures out he's not there, so she's fine. Um, so they're sitting around and Kyle and Denise are, where were they? Kyle and Denise, one left? I don't understand. Half-ass apology, really selfish. So Denise said that Kyle gave her, oh, they, they were just standing there. Yeah, they were standing there and it was kind of awkward. And then she was like, you know, I left, I left early. I really didn't want to be there. So I just felt like I needed to leave. And she was like, okay. And then in her interview, she was like, and I think that's really selfish. She was really upset, Denise. Um, so they go to dinner after the DNA show. Um, and let me just say something really quick. And I'm glad that Lisa Renna actually said it, that her daughters won the genetic lottery. Not only did they, she's not lying because she said that Harry Hamlin is smart. She's a hustler, but you haven't forgot the, the most important thing. You, you forgot the most important thing that makes them have won the lottery. Not only are their parents wealthy, but they're... Okay, you know what I'm about to say, all right? That's another reason. Not every, not every kid, 18, 19, 20, 21, have wealthy parents who can, without any kind of... I don't know if Lisa's daughters are in any kind of school, fashion school, winter school, or anything, but to just launch... A clothing line, that's privilege, honey. That don't have nothing to do with lottery, the genetic lottery. It's just their privilege. And just say it. Say that. They won the genetic lottery. No, we have privilege. We rich white people and my daughters can start a clothing line without having any formal training. That's what that's what you really want to say. <laughs> so they go to dinner and they sitting down and Erica says, Let's I need a tequila shot. So I could take the edge off and whatever edge is going on around here. And so Sut, so Dorit, so Dorit mentions, she goes, so what was this thing? I thought it was so weird. What was this thing that you were talking about where you said that you were going to flip out? The way that Dorit framed it was as, as if Sutton told her, bitch, if that motherfucking Joey Maloof is in this motherfucker, I'm going to tear this shit up. That's how she acted like she told her. And what she really was like, she was really quiet. She was like, no, you were like, oh, and see, that's when you get, that's when you see when those type of women retell stories, how they exaggerate and how people can get in a lot of trouble from those, those mild exaggerations, right? Because Sutton did not act like she was about to tear nothing up she wasn't loud she was actually whispering it to you of course you didn't know what she was talking about because that's not your home girl but then lisa turns around and was like girl i know you wasn't about to come in my daughter's shit and ruin their uh, event and she was like girl no it wasn't even like that what are you talking about like and then dorit is the one that kept it going i was like dorit shut up because sudden wasn't even the way that you're framing it Sutton wasn't even lacking like that. So then Sutton goes, you know, Joey, we have, he's our mutual friend. We have some bad business and I thought he was going to be there. And then, um, Lisa goes, yes, that don't have nothing to do with me. That is my friend. We do business together. I'm not my friend, but we do business together. That don't have nothing to do with me. That's on you. And she was like, yeah. And she was like, but I wasn't going to do anything. I just thought he was going to be there. And when I say I'm going to freak out or flip out, that means I'm going to cry and leave. That's what that means. And she was like, well, Oh, it was just, and Lisa goes, that would have been inappropriate. Girl, she didn't do it. And neither, it was, and then she did not even intend to. It wasn't even, no, she didn't even say anything like that. I was like, Dorit, shut up. Shut up, Dorit. Lisa was like, well, I would have kicked you out. Girl, why are we talking about this like this? And Sutton was looking at Dorit. She was like, I'm done playing with you. <laughs> she was like, I'm done playing with you. Cut it out. You cross, and then she goes, and then... 
Lisa in her interview goes, I don't care. Sutton is my friend. You're coming to my event trying to ruin it. You don't fuck with my kids. Girl, she was not. Sutton and did. She was like, Sutton was like, girl, that's not even what it was. I wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? Why would I come to your, your place and mess it up? Well, I hope you wouldn't do that. Girl, shut up. And then they showed Lisa throwing a drink. Yes, leave that to Lisa. Because Sutton wasn't going to be in there throwing drinks and ruining everything. She wasn't doing that. And Dorit blew that out of proportion and kept poking and poking the same exact way she was doing with Kyle. Kyle was done. To, I don't want to talk about it anymore. This is what it is. I thought it was weird. I don't want to talk about it. And now they're like on Kyle. So Dorit did the same thing. I don't know what, what it is with Dorit. I don't know. And then Dorit was like, well, you're attacking me. I said, oh, look at white women being white women uh, with each other, right? You're attacking me. No, Dorit, she's not attacking you. She's cussing your ass out because you keep bringing up something that it really wasn't what you're trying to make it. So, bitch, shut the fuck up, period. Now, if that means I'm attacking you, shut your goddamn ass up, and then I won't attack you, and we can, and it can be done, and that's it, and that's it, and that's it. Shut your ass up. Let it go, Sutton told Dorit. Let it go. You've had your fun. Let it go. Shut up. That's what she was saying. <laughs> Dorit and Kyle and Denise are, I don't know where they went. Where did they go? Dorit, Kyle, and Denise. Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, they're still at dinner. Oh, they came back. I don't know why I drew a line. They're still at dinner. Oh, I'm almost done. And Dorit and Kyle are sitting down and Denise tells, um, she says something about bringing up what, you know, where the kids, you know, they heard it talking about the threesomes and stuff. And Erica was like, girl, whatever. You want to be mother of the year, girl. Tell, I'm not here. So Erica is not here for this thing that Denise is acting like she has to shield her kids. I believe, I just believe she's overcompensating because her both them, her father and her, their father and her were really wild things. Their fi father is still wild as hell and out of control. So I think she's trying to shield them from that life, but it doesn't do anything. They're grown. They're getting old. They're older. They, they're not worried about that. So they want to know what, um, who was the fake ass bitch? That's what Denise wants to know. So who's the fake ass bitch? Who are we talking about here? Cause you said we was fake and she was like, well, um, do you want me to, do you want me to talk? Or she said something like, can I talk or something? She was like, yeah, go ahead. She was like, I don't need you to be sarcastic. And she was like, I'm not being sarcastic. Kyle, you were, you were, you were like, girl, go ahead and talk. Cause I'm not really listening to you, but do whatever you want to do. Run your mouth or whatever. She was like, you had an ice sculpture at your party. She was like, what's wrong with that? I've had camels at my children's party. So you're telling me I'm a fake ass bitch for that? And she was like, girl, no. And they're not getting it. But at the table, even Garcelle was like, I don't know. Was Kyle being fake with me when she told me that I was more fabulous than I, that she expected? Anyway, so she said, and then they were like, Teddy, you come in glam. Stop talking about people being in glam. And, and Dorit's like this. Stop talking about people being in glam. Teddy, you weren't in glam first season. Second season, you was in glam every day. Didn't I tell you? When you see your ass on television, you switch up how you dress, how you look, you, your makeup, and everything. You switch it up because you think you're regular. When, when, when it comes through that television screen, it looks totally different. It looks totally different. So people do change up, and we see it across all reality shows. First season, you look a mess. Watch the first episode of the first season of any Housewives franchise. Everybody looks a fucking mess. Everybody. You don't really get it right until about the third or fourth season. You don't really understand that, bitch. You need to have your contour together. You need to have you need to be have some foundation on under them clothes. You cause you look crazy. So all of that goes into that. So um they said that. Kyle never said anything to Teddy about wearing makeup because Teddy is not Teddy is not being late to events for her friends because she's putting on makeup. So no, Kyle is not going to say anything to Teddy about her wearing makeup because it hasn't been an issue in any aspect of their lives. And I'm sure that Kyle will at the time can't believe I'm defending Kyle. You at Kyle will at the time tell her, like, don't be fake. Y'all fake. You come in here dressed in workout clothes and you don't work out. 
and you late to your friend's event because you was getting your makeup done. That shit is fake as hell. But Dorit is one of those girls. She wants to be glammed up. And we understand it because she does give, give us the fashions. And then she's like, um, let people, you don't let people talk. You talk over people. And uh, what's her name is sitting there with a, with a straw? Kyle. Kyle's a mess. Kyle's sitting there with a straw like, girl. And she doesn't see it for Denise. Denise is a ragamuffin to her. So she doesn't see it for her. But anyways, that was pretty much it of the episode. You guys tell me what you think. Um, we'll see what goes on, girl. It was a mess. They had, I took a lot of notes, but it was a mess. Anyways, y'all take care of each other. Let me know what you think of the episode. Let's get down in the comments and, um, protect your energy. Peace.